So the big issues that we're currently facing right now are lack of personal protective equipment. And I've been on the phone all morning long listening to folks from our hospitals, uh, you know, to our first responders, uh, you know, even to folks who work in our in our grocery uh, industry. You know, we need to make sure that those folks who are literally serving the rest of us uh, during this time where we're staying in um, or teleworking actually have that protective equipment that we need. Unfortunately, the president um, has not moved into get, getting those out of our storage uh, that we have at a federal level to ensure that that protective equipment gets moving out to the states. He's asking the states to take the, whole, the reins in getting the personal protective equipment out. We need the president to move forward with allow, allowing uh, the Department of Defense's authority to keep this country safe. So we need to get into that national stockpile. You know, listen, I want to work with our governor. I think it's important that we, as a congressional delegation um, and with our governor's office that we're all working together in tandem with this. But uh, but I'll tell you what, you know, we're moving towards shelter in place anyhow. We're continually adding uh, groups on uh, different types of businesses that can't operate. We may be better off to cut our losses and just do it now so that we can get through this more quickly. If we keep piecemealing this and adding people on different types of businesses, you know, then, then we just exacerbate people continuing to go out and, and engage with those other businesses. And so, you know, I don't, uh, I don't exactly know where that number hits, and I'll have to take a, a, a stronger look at this. When does it mean we do a complete lockdown? But, you know, on, honestly, from, from a perspective of just looking at this logistically, it may be the safer move to take.